Basically, alcohol is something that's in the way of, of uh, good things. You know, I think alcohol is a destructive thing. It makes people fight, it makes people argue, it makes people do stupid things, etc., etc., period, you know. And, uh, you know, for me, um, I'm seeing it very clearly. And uh, it, it, it's, it's a pretty much uh, a, a nice without it. Six months ago, rock guitar legend Michael Schenker's career was descending into oblivion because of a drink-induced depression. But during a gig at Belfast Spring and Air Break, the German musician showed he is back to top form and sober. Uh, Michael, welcome to Belfast. Um, I think it's been some years since you've played in Ireland. It has been uh, since '97. It was the last time I played in Ireland. Yeah. And who was that with? That was G3 with Joe Satriani and Uli Le, Le, uh, John Roth. Right. Can you tell me a little bit about um, who is playing with you on this current tour? Friends. <laughs> it's Michael Schenker and Friends. It's, it's a bunch of people from Holland and, uh, I mean, from um, uh, Sweden. Um, Leif Sanden is some vocals he used to be with MSG. Um, we recorded, released an album together in 96, written in the sand. And the other guys are friends of his. <coughs> the drummer used to be with Plan Use. We, those people are known as Shell, Thomas Palmas and Leif. And how is the current tour been going? Not very good. It's, you know, like a, a tour to um, say hi and to prepare people for the next uh, MSG tour, uh, Schenker Baden, uh, with a brand new album coming out. And the new album, can you tell me a little bit about it? Um, I know you've had Simon Phillips recording on it and um, it's really like going back to people that were involved in your first solo album. Yeah, uh, basically it is um, a, um, what do you call it, like a deja vu. Um, it happened before in 1980. Uh, with Simon Phillips, Don Airy on keyboards, and um, this time we have Neil Murray on bass and on vocals Gary Baden. And so, basically, it's it's a repeat of the first studio album in 1980. The album is going to be out around April, May, and uh, a tour is going to follow um, a world tour starting probably around end of May, uh, beginning of June. And now, I know, uh, funny enough, I just bought Classic Rock magazine today and there's a, a five-page interview with you with the, that you did with Jeff Barton. And he obviously did talk, t he did touch about certain um, personal issues that you did have over the last year. Um, you, you, I think you were quoted as saying that you couldn't remember bits of last year. Just how, how are you feeling at the minute, health-wise? I'm feeling great. Um, well, basically, well, I do remember a lot of things, and also when I do interviews, people distort things a little bit and put things out of context. And uh, basically, what happened in 2007 uh, summer to uh, it was uh, mismanagement. Um, it was dis it was disorganized. Um, I had to cancel things. People canceled things, and as a result of it, uh, it, it was a very very um, Heavy situation in America, uh, hanging there with no, um, uh, what's it called, uh, uh, working permits and stuff like that. And we were forced to leave the country. And as a result of that, I started drinking basically. And we started in the, during the rock and blues festival. There was no keyboards there. I could have canceled everything right there, but I decided to carry on anyway. Um, as a result of it, um, you know, I kind of gave a bad performance, the band gave a bad performance because you don't play without keyboards, but we did it anyway. And as a, bad, as a result of it, there was bad vibes going on. <clears throat> and then I was supposed to, you know, do the tour without the Scorpions, with MSG, and I was there the first night, there was no band. So I decided to play in front of all these people by myself, you know, and the next day, as a result of that, I was too finished and etc etc uh, you know uh, so we had a bad concert and stuff like that so 
you know, people just hear cancel and then they make up their own stories, but nobody really understands what really was behind it. So there were a lot of problems going on in your life with, with your career at that, at that point? I don't think there's going to be more or less problems than anybody else has. We're all living on this planet, we all go through our highs and, and lows, and uh, I'm just kind of somebody who is more known and therefore uh, more known, you know, that <laughs> I go through things in life just like everybody else. You know, it's not, I don't think it's much of a big deal. I'm a, uh, I have good times, bad times, just like everybody. But, but you, you feel really good about yourself at the minute with the new album. Yeah, and I would just suggest uh, to people, I would suggest that, you know, basically alcohol is something that's in the way of, of uh, good things. You know, I think alcohol is a destructive thing. It makes people fight, it makes people argue, it makes people do stupid things, etc., etc., period, you know. And, uh, you know, for me, um, I'm seeing it very clearly. And, uh, it, it, it's it's a pretty much uh, 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 nice without it. Um, you've had a few reunion albums with uh, UFO over well over recent years. Any plans for any more collaborations with them at any point? I just you know I'm I be, I'm being guided. Uh, I don't know what happens next. My doors are open. I do whatever feels right.